Today in the news, we finally got Rocket Lake's price, Intel response to Apple, and we got DDD DDDDR5. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. They've done it, they finally did it. Intel officially unveiled their Rocket Lake 11th gen desktop processors. And there's no real surprise when it comes to the specs since, well, they've been getting slowly leaked out for what seems like a year. However, what is kind of unexpected is the pricing. It's kind of low, mostly and specifically when compared to AMD. Now, Intel is probably being a little bit ambitious by pricing their flagship 11900K at 540 USD. I mean, sure, it's $10 lower than the 5900X, but AMD's counterpart has 12 cores, and that's four more than the uh, 11900K. So yeah, that's just Intel being Intel. Or maybe they're taking advantage of the fact that the 5900X is very hard to find. Who knows? But going back to the list, while the top of the line chips might be a little overpriced, everything down the line is looking pretty interesting. The 11700K has an MSRP of just $399, which is a solid $50 cheaper than the 5800X. And if you don't need the iGPU, then you can save another $25 with the 11700KF model. The next chip down the line is also great, the 11600K. It's $262, which is the same MSRP as the 10600K, at least when it launched, and it's also a pretty attractive price compared to the Ryzen 5 5600X, which is now $50 more expensive than their last generation at $299. And once again, if you have your own GPU, the 11600KF is just $237, which makes it $62 US cheaper than AMD's competitor. All of the other i5s are also pretty interesting at six cores and 12 threads, although there is no AMD competition to compare it with. That's the 11600 and under, all the way down to the 11400. I mean, wow, after a couple of years of saying that price matters, Intel finally comes through with the pricing, at least in some models. I mean, not only will it likely run hot, but Intel's looking kinda cute. I mean, hot too. I mean, like a hot item, something that people wanna buy. Stop with the music. Now, Intel seems like a more valuable proposition, but don't expect to see this pricing anywhere. I know it sucks, but retailers both online and in brick and mortar stores are going to squeeze consumers for every cent they can. For example, B&H Photo has the 11900K for pre-order at $614.50. Micro Center, on the other hand, has the 11600K up for sale at 320 bucks. That's not the difference between price per one mil and retail. That's just an absolute ripoff. On the other hand though, Micro Center does have an insane deal like the 10900KF for 329 bucks, but I'm getting off track here. The big and final decision is going to be about performance, and we still have to wait until March 30th to get a proper look at what these chips can do, or at least the i9-11900K and uh, 11600K anyway, since the 11700K has been benchmarked to the moon and back. There's also the issue of current shortages to think about. To me, even if the 11th gen gets beaten slightly, like it keeps up in some areas but gets beaten in others by the AMD counterpart, like the 5600X or 5800X, it might be worth going for Intel. Now, no, no, stop, wait. Okay, so if you were to build a brand new system and you bought an AMD system right now, you're gonna need to get yourself a GPU to even start using it since, well, there's no integrated graphics. And trust me, you do not want a GT710. With Intel, you can use the integrated graphics, at least until you can snag a proper GPU. Plus, it serves as a way to make sure that all the parts that you bought work well. What do you guys think about that? Let me know down below. Moving on, but sticking to Intel, their new ad campaign is actually pretty cool. At the start, I thought it was a little petty since it was just a series of photos posted on Twitter, but now, oh, now they're going way back. After Apple reused the PC guy from the Amamac campaign and showed him at the end of their Apple Silicon presentation, honestly, I found that kind of cringy, Intel decided to savagely respond by hiring the Mac guy, AKA Justin Long, and making a series series of ads pointing out the flaws in an Apple computer. Things like form factor, connectivity, and other limitations that have existed on the Mac ecosystem for years. It only takes about five minutes to watch all of them, so I'll link the playlist down below if you wanna sneak a peek. 
Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the uh, all Intel catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories or this t-shirt, which is uh, custom made. It's very nice, um, although not merch just yet. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. We stay the same. We stay the same. We stay the same. We stay the same